When you finally pay off a high dollar purchase, you expect to own it free and clear. When that didn't happen for one of our viewers, he called 2 News problem solver Pete Canuto. Out of the tunnel and around the tracks that fill his garage. It's a hobby, it's a passion. And Alfred has spent now. years building his model railroad. The time and patience it takes are worth it, Alfred says, when his grandkids and neighbor kids visit. I get a kick out of it, especially when I see the children, the joy they get on their faces and everything. And, and while Alfred can easily get his railroad cars back on track after they run into a problem, he says he felt helpless when the payoff on his car derailed. I could not get the lien release. Alfred sent his last payment to Chrysler Financial last December and expected his lien release to arrive in a few days or so, but it didn't. So in February, I called and talked to a lady back, back where it was at, and she said, oh, you'll have it in, in uh, six to eight weeks. Still no release, but Alfred says he kept chugging along calling Chrysler Financial every month. What if I wanted to sell a car or trade it in or something? I had no proof. I could not, I could not have a clear title. Finally, Alfred called the two news problem solvers, and we contacted Chrysler Financial about his car. We found out some of Alfred's information had been lost. But after our call, Chrysler Financial was able to gather enough information to get Alfred his lien release. That was a heck of a big relief. So big, Alfred feels like whistling, even louder than his model trains. Pete Knutson, 2 News works for you.